Hey everyone, alrighty, quick update on the uh, new um, Rand McNally GPS uh, that I've got, okay? We're going to go over in this video uh, the, about the Tel Rand uh, feature on this uh, uh, item plus uh, the docking station uh, for your computer. But first, before I do that, I just want to let everyone know, uh, the sale ends at the end of this month and they're selling like crazy hard to find, uh, especially the 7 inch. 5 inch is still a little bit, uh, you know, not as popular as the 7 inch, so it's a little easier to find, but the 7 inch is starting to become very hard to find. The majority of the truck stops have it on sale for uh, $2.99. You know, that's $100 off. So if I'm going to do, like, I know I'm not going to do the full review or the ending review for another week or so, uh, but uh, I'm giving it two thumbs up right now, and I do recommend uh, purchasing it. So, um, Yes, there are a couple little minor items in it, but you know what, compared to some of the other GPSs, uh, I've talked to three or four drivers now that have it. They absolutely love it, despite uh, being a couple little bugs. They're minor, minor bugs, real easy to, to fix or take care of, or not fix, but uh, there's a couple solutions here. So anyway, uh, if you're thinking of buying it, I said just you go ahead and buy it because the sales only to the end of this month and you only have uh, you know four more days uh, after today to get it so those of you who are on the fence um, it I recommend it okay I'm giving it two thumbs up right now before I do my final review on it uh, I'm the only reason I'm doing it telling you now is because the sale ends at the end of the month so I want to give you guys an opportunity to go ahead and get it so anyway moving right along all right, so here we are. Here's back to the main screen. You remember, uh, I wanted to show you guys. Now, I'm doing this in my basement, and I'm just holding it. Um, I just figured it was easier to do it this way. All right, so what you do is you go to... It's, all of a sudden, let's say you're coming up to a construction zone. It's a long-term construction zone, and it's not showing up on the uh, map as the GPS. So you just quickly go to the truck tools, go to Tel Rand. Okay, now you can see here you've got several choices. You can do, you know, low bridge, bridge height, point of interest, which would be like your truck stops, rest areas, etc. If there's information missing, uh, speed limit, which we'll get into, address missing, uh, address wrong location. In other words, if the address you punch in ends up on the map in the wrong spot, like if it's, you know, half a mile down the road where you're actually supposed to be, then you can put that in. Uh, road information incorrect, incorrect route, uh, meaning if it takes you away that uh, it's not supposed to, like I'm guessing a no truck route, etc. Road construction missing, okay? Uh, so what you basically do is you'll uh, press this one here, and then you can add to it if you want, and then just press enter, and then the log will be uh, in uh, the GPS. Now you got to remember the GPS doesn't transmit. Okay, it only receives. So therefore, um, you have to do this when you get onto the docking station. Okay, or like you do this while you're driving, but then you'll have to uh, download the information when you're on once on the docking station. If you come up to where it's telling you there's construction and the construction is done, then go ahead and do this one here. And having trouble with the unit, so you can specify what the trouble is. But once you hit it in, and then you can type it in, etc., etc. Um, or if you have uh, any other issues that you want to type in, or suggestions. And then, of course, you can see here you've got, you know, if you're not at the location, you aren't able to do it at the time, then you can do, you know, enter different location um, or find a location on the map. You can do it there. All right. And that's. Uh, for that portion now the the rest you can do online so I mean it's fairly easy while you're driving um, you know if you're on the map now of course nothing's showing up here guys because I'm in my basement so nothing's gonna come up because we're where I last turned it off that's where the truck is showing right now and since I haven't been outside it won't show up so I mean you just click there go to truck tools tell Rand and then you can cycle through the different uh, ones to uh, do it now you know weight restriction is lower than you know there's a bunch of different things you can do here so and what happens is when you do it because you're doing current location now the last place I had this on was out at work so that's why it'll show the location right here where you're where you are your current location 
Okay. And you can see here on the main screen because I'm running on battery, it shows the battery life up here. Okay. I don't know if I pointed that out before, but you can do this on just battery if for whatever reason you don't have. Uh, I don't know how long the battery lasts, but uh, you know, most of us plug it into the cigarette lighter, anyways. Hey everyone, all right, welcome. I'm gonna do a quick uh, little uh, screenshot here tutorial on uh, the Rand McNally and when you hook it up to your computer. So now once you've got it hooked up, um, basically if it doesn't pop up right away, go into uh, my computer like I have here and you'll see the IntelliRoute uh, hooked up as in one of your like thumb drives or whatever what it looks like as if it's a storage device. You're going to want to double click on it and open it up. So the first thing you're going to have to set up is your docking station, which is this one right here where the uh, white arrow is pointing. It says set up RM dock. That's the uh, the one that you're going to want to double click on and then it will start up for you. Okay. Uh, it may take a little while, uh, so please be patient. Anyways, once it's downloaded, this is the uh, screen that you're going to have here. As you can see, uh, it says here right now, my device is up to date. Um, there will probably be one here that says uh, one update available for your device. Okay, you can go ahead and uh, download that by clicking on this. Now, one of the things I do recommend that you do is uh, you go here to tools where the little cog wheel is. And then you come over here to diagnostics and repair. And this should be one of the first things that you do is uh, click on this uh, to uh, have it just check through your unit, make sure everything is up to snuff in it and whatnot. I did this myself. You know, you think it's a new unit that there wouldn't be any problems, but there was actually a few bugs in it, if you will, uh, a few fixes that were required. Um, I forget how many hundreds of processes that are involved in this little unit, but anyway, that's where you can do it there. It will repair it. It takes, uh, you know, 15, 20 minutes, maybe a little longer to do it, but it's well worth doing it because everything will then be up to date with your unit. Uh, up here, you've got the release notes and you have to be connected to the internet. Now the release notes, uh, uh, here's the number for it. I'm not sure what date or if this has something to do with the date. I don't think it does, but anyway, it just tells you uh, all the different things that were done on the last major update that they did uh, to the unit and what was done on previous uh, release notes and you can scroll down what was previous bug fixes that had been done and whatnot so you can read up on that here's where you can uh, back up uh, your data and that being any saved uh, POIs points of interest any saved addresses in the address book you know customer addresses and whatnot and uh, should your unit get wiped for whatever reason, if you've got everything backed up, you can, once you plug in, you can go over here to the restore my data to get all that information back. Now, here's the send logs part. Uh, you click on this and you can add a comment here too if you need to. And you press submit. So anything that you've saved on the uh, device itself, and we'll go back to the main page here. Okay, here's the tell rand button. Now we're going to do the separate video again on the tell rand. Um, <clears throat> I might include it in this one, I'm not sure. You'll find out when you watch this. Now this tell rand feature you can do directly on here if you have some information about uh, a specific feature or anything like that that you would like to uh, send to them. You will get an email back as long as the email box here is uh, filled out. And then you just go ahead and press the send button. Um, they do respond, okay? I um, was very happy to say that uh, I sent an email in about uh, uh, one of the features and uh, something that was missing, and I did get a response from them. So I was very happy there. This manual here, you'll want to download and get that on your computer. It's way better than the instruction booklet itself, although it is missing a few little things, I'll be honest with you, that they could have made it a little bit better. Uh, the Randy McNally store takes you to their website, uh, this is a support website where they have frequently asked questions and whatnot and answers. Announcements, that uh, basically, uh, again, brings you to their website. So anyways, yeah, sorry, took a second there. 
so this is the uh, what it brings you to um, the you know message center um, this uh, I've only got the one here obviously on mine which is welcome to Rand McNally you can press a little green plus sign and it tells you you know basically some basic stuff so okay so we can close out on that now we're back to the dock station here now here add your own POIs if uh, you know you can go to the POI factory um, I haven't really searched through this one we're not going to do it right now alert POIs you can add uh, stuff if you've anything you've downloaded from the POI factory and you can and same it would be saved on your computer you can upload it there POI is point of interest in case anyone's wondering um, you got the support website like I said which is uh, for uh, hopefully this will open a little bit quicker for us here I don't normally use Internet Explorer so it's probably why here you've got your frequently asked questions uh, for the IntelliRoute TND okay you've got their different other items that they have here also okay uh, you can go to the Rand McNally store uh, to buy accessories if you wish and they have different uh, accessories here they've got like a case if you want to put your GPS in a case they've got one here I'm kind of interested actually in the case and possibly this uh, sunshade thing here I'm not 100% sure of it whether I want to or not um, let's see what's on page 2 I don't think there's going to be anything Uh, that's the five inch uh, refurbished for $199, which means it was basically it had a, a something defective. It was sent back to Ryan McNally. It got uh, fixed and rebuilt, and now they're selling it uh, for quite a bit cheaper. So that's that's pretty good. There. Okay. So and then of course their home. You can just go through the website. There's other things you can buy and whatnot. Uh, GPS. Let's go back to this here. Um, accessories. They have the real-time traffic receiver. Um, they have a lifetime maps for IntelliRoute TNT, TND. So this is something uh, you can buy, I guess, and get lifetime updates. I'm not sure how long the updates will go for the fact that we just bought it uh, map updates as long as you own your IntelliRoute TND this map update SD card includes the latest available information on roads and truck restrictions as well as subscription to Rand McNally's lifetime maps program okay so we'll have to look into that a little bit more I'm not gonna do that here something you guys might want to look up right now I know the updates are free so we're back here to the dock so uh, you can get your mileage reports uh, if you have them saved to your computer here um, yeah, I'm just back to the tools here so da, 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 make sure I've gotten everything covered here yep alrighty so anyways that's the uh, IntelliRoute uh, dock station that uh, you'll need to uh, do updates on your uh, Rand McNally.